Mr. Vice President, you were the first of the Republican presidential candidates to criticize former President Trump after the Hamas attacks. Even before his speech on Wednesday, you said that his approach was signaling a retreat from America from the world stage. Is that something new or is that what you witnessed as vice president? I'm incredibly proud of uh, the record of the Trump-Pence administration. We stood with our allies, stood up to our enemies. But as I said here in New Hampshire just a few weeks ago, not only the former president, but some of his imitators in, in this yes. primary have been a signaling retreat from our role as leader of the free world. But and I, is that I, I different really from believe... President Trump, though? Do you, do you signal something that's changed with him? When we ran in 2016, he, he ran on a platform of ending forever wars right. to bring the Afghanistan war to a conclusion. So what accounts for that change? I think it's in part because of the failed domestic agenda of President Joe Biden. American families are hurting, energy prices are up, inflation the last two and a half years at a 40-year high. It's given impetus to the move that we have to choose between solving problems at home and being the leader of the free world. I, I reject that choice. We can do both. You're blaming Biden for, for Trump's shift on these issues that you are calling, you're criticizing I think, I think there's a, I think the choice we face in the primary is between uh, populism and conservatism. But on Wednesday night, former president's remarks, that didn't feel like populism. That was something. No, I mean, that, that was just Trump. Do you think that he has the moral clarity to be president of the United States? To me, it's, it's less about words than it is about deeds and action. What I learned from my years as vice president was simply that authoritarian regimes in the world care less about what you say, they care about what you do. Judge us by our actions and not by our words. So from that point of view, praising Hezbollah, those things aren't, in your view, disqualifying to be commander in chief. I'm running for president because I think Donald Trump should not be president of the United States again, for a whole range of reasons. Right. And I think what he said about Hezbollah this week was over the line. To criticize the prime minister of Israel in the wake of the most horrific attack on the Jewish people, I think it was reckless, I think it was irresponsible. But not quite disqualifying. Well, it's not, look, I, I, I have one vote in the primary, being the Indiana primary. Uh, I, don't, I, don't like, I don't like telling the American people what's disqualifying and what's not. What would your concern be if former President Trump were to be commander in chief again? I think if America shrinks back in any way from our most cherished ally, Israel, from our support for Ukraine, support for our NATO allies, that we will inherit the whirlwind in the 21st century.